Hey everyone, this is Jedi Weller here from Startup Wars, and I am here today to help you understand what distribution costs are and how they're used for your business. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to give you an illustration, an example, right? And this example is from one of our simulation games, which is to own your own t-shirt company. So let's imagine for a second, that you are the proud owner of a t-shirt company. You decide you wanna start this company and after doing some research, you determine that college students are really gonna be your target demographic, so you wanna sell to college students. And the research shows that college students are perfectly fine paying about $20 per student, per t-shirt. And you say to yourself, okay, cool. Well, if each college student is okay to spend $20 for a t-shirt and I sell 10 t-shirts, I'm gonna make $200. Right? Is that correct? No, it's obviously not correct. Why? Well, because there's an actual cost to distributing your product, right? So let's go over what that cost is going to be. Now, what do you need in order to create a t-shirt? Well, you need the actual t-shirt itself. So if I am a customer of your company and I am purchasing your t-shirt, right? And I say, hello there, I would love to buy this t-shirt with this design. You say, okay, great, for $20, I'll print it. So you go behind the scenes and you actually take a blank t-shirt, right? You're gonna take a blank white t-shirt. You're going to take the design that I've created or that I want to uh, you know, put on the t-shirt. You're gonna print it and then you're gonna send it to me, right? Well, that material, that actual t-shirt itself costs you money, right? So if we estimate that uh, the materials, the cost of materials is gonna cost us about $5.99, right? And we start at $20. We're now down to about $14, okay? So 20 minus six bucks is 14, and that's what we have left after the material cost. But that's not the only distribution cost. There's also gonna be the cost of packaging, right? So let's say I'm a, t a student, uh, but I'm purchasing your t-shirt online. All right, well now that means you have to go and do, you gotta do the same steps. You gotta basically go back to the drawing board. You gotta uh, take the t-shirt, then you gotta print it, right? And then you have to pay someone to pack it. Maybe it's you, maybe it's one of your employees, but you're paying them per hour. So that packing cost actually has a cost associated with it. You know, that's your cost of labor to actually print and pack it, right? And it's still not all. Then you actually have to ship it to me, right? And let's say you make a deal with the local post office and you say, okay, for my type of business and the weight of this t-shirt, shipping is only gonna cost about $3. And they say, okay, perfect. So now if it goes through the same example, right? We take the t-shirt the that was sold online and for $20, we uh, received in our pocket. We then subtract $6 for the materials. We subtract $3 for the packing. And then we subtract another $3 for the shipping. And that yields us $8 and three cents, right? Now that $8 and three cents, that is your profit after the distribution costs are taken out, right? So distribution costs are all the costs that go into actually taking your product and getting it to your consumer to distribute the actual costs or distribute the actual product, right? That is what distribution costs are. Now, you might say to yourself, okay, cool. Well, $8 per t-shirt, that's still amazing. And uh, I have an $8 profit margin. Um, beautiful, I'm gonna go to market, I'm gonna sell a bunch of them, and I'm gonna make $8 per t-shirt. Still not entirely true, because let's not forget about tax, right? And I don't know what your exact tax margin or tax bracket is gonna be, uh, it's gonna depend upon your actual revenues and your profit, but uh, tax is something you have to keep in mind, and I always wanna put this here as kind of like a preface, because a lot of people get uh, kind of they forget about the tax bill, they forget about quarterly taxes, and they forget that you know you do owe the IRS a, a piece of the pie. So I wanna make sure that you guys as founders are actually thinking about this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are what distribution costs are. I hope this example was helpful. Uh, if you want to see other examples, you know, please subscribe below and take a look through some of the other uh, videos that we've made about user churn rate, about subscription costs, about user acquisition, uh, you know, we've got a lot of resources here and we hope these are helpful. Thanks so much and we'll see you online.